A key piece of spaceflight hardware for the agency Space Launch System rocket is on its way to Florida. The launch vehicle stage adapter, also known as the LVSA, is heading from Huntsville to Florida to get the Artemis II mission to the moon. Our Jasmine Verd visited the Marshall Space Flight Center and gives us an inside look. Huntsville plays a big role in the next mission around the moon, and it all starts with this barge right here. We're here for the Artemis II launch, launch vehicle stage adapter. It's being loaded onto the barge. That barge is the Pegasus, and what it's carrying is this giant adapter. It's 27 and a half feet tall. It's also at the, the base diameter is 27 and a half feet wide. The barge will ship the adapter to NASA's McCoy Assembly Facility in New Orleans first. That's where crews will pick up additional SLS hardware for future Artemis missions before traveling to NASA Kennedy in Florida. After it arrives to Florida, the adapter will join the recently delivered core stage, and that's where teams with NASA's Exploration Ground Systems will prepare the adapter for stacking and launch. It's really a, a good thing for Artemis II to get ready down there to KSC to be stacked and hopefully one day real soon launch, which would be great. The way we will stack the SLS and the Artemis mission um, with the Orion spacecraft is we'll We'll get the mobile launcher back into the VAB, the, the Vehicle Assembly Building, and then we'll start stacking the booster segments to have two full boosters, uh, and then we'll stack the core stage in between those. That's where the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen um, are stored. And then on top of that, we'll stack this LVSA that we're, that, we're, um, that we're rolling in today. And the one thing some are most looking forward to is sending astronauts to the moon. We've not sent astronauts around the moon in some 50 years almost. And that's what Artemis II is here for. Ramsey says safety of the astronauts is the number one priority, followed by the mission objectives. The most important thing is to keep the crew safe. Uh, and uh, get them back to Earth safely. The rocket is part of NASA's deep space exploration plans along with the Orion spacecraft, supporting ground systems, advanced spacesuits and rovers, gateway in orbit around the moon and commercial human landing systems. In Huntsville, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News. Through the Artemis campaign, NASA will land the first woman, first person of color and its first international partner astronaut on the moon. NASA's SLS is the only rocket that can send Orion, astronauts, and supplies to the moon on a single launch.